Rose and a HE for good measure as we're set up to pounce on this A bomb site. And FaZe have three players in Roost to lock it down. One expert still favoring FaZe, and we're about to get this one underway. Smoke's deployed. Good setup for this. Rain, he's had a good pop off performance against Furia from this position and does again find a head. It's broken. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They melt. Completely evaporated ends disappear. Brokey takes four. You got a collateral with the pistol right there. That is a way to pop off and start map three in style. See you later, Ents. The round's over. Brokey's decided. Blanked right here. Check this what? one out. Where's the collat? This one. Bang. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that's a pistol. It was quick as you like. Quick as you like. And uh, I reckon this one might be quicker. Take Eat a look. Take a look at this. Smokes in the sky. And here we go again. Yeah. Ends are not stopping. If it ain't working, rush faster. And they do. Flashes are in. Sphinx is down. Carrigan's running out of bullets, but he's got plenty more. 15 for this duel. And he's so reserved with it. Lovely handling of the situation. Madden's dead. And the round likely to follow. It is Hades with a good opportunity to force the rebuy, and it's not going to work out well for him. 6 and 0 for Brokey to get the second round started of our third map. Yeah, this has been a quick start here, and now it will just be the pistols fans. They cannot invest going forward. Might be a couple of deagles in the mix here, but taking care of business is FaZe. Great stuff as well. The, the conservative approach there from Carrigan on the uh, MP9, just keeping himself alive, not committing to any jewels that were going to fall apart. And Carrigan, well, he's just going to rock a USP into this. Now, he needs to be a little bit careful. Sure, there's no head armor on the other side, but there are deagles to deal with. Top mid, and they're going to take a fight on out here. Brokey, he's been sharp. We'll need to be sharper now. Rop spotted. Well, it's coming through, and oh, oh they're peppering away. Problem solved. Handled. It, it, there's a moment where it could get out of control, and that's if the first deagle bullet lands. Now, it is just snappy. Last man standing, and there's another kill. Some damage done. The molly dance around. Another one to send him packing. He's got himself a FAMAS and a safe retreat. So you know what? Snappy's actually managed to slow this one down from a what looked like an immediate close. And they have the bomb. Admittedly, Carrigan doesn't have a rifle. Yeah, he's trying to find where it went. It actually dropped in towards the underpass. So if they can quickly piece this one together, he can scoop it up. There you go. Crisis averted. Great stuff. And yeah, as I was saying, as they come out mid, if they get the first, that's where it starts to fall apart. But the fact that they get the first few right there, it is just Snappy left wanting more. But a couple of nice zingers here. Yeah, and you can see what Rops' intentions were. Whether there was bodies or not, I think he would he wanted to show presence that he was peeking under, just because you saw that immediate reaction. Four Eagles swinging out top mid, and that was for Brokey to pick apart. Great to see first gun round both Orpers with the big greens out early here. Want to see that impact from both of them. Hades had a fantastic map number two. Let's see how he fares on map number three. Yeah, he was a closer. And some nice reads. Oh, okay, and an equivalent exchange in mid. Rops with some very aggressive maneuvers for FaZe, and Reigns dealt with ramp. Just as Deha tries to leave his hidey hole, flames fill the floor. Rain's going aggressive with that low HP and the man advantage. He figures, I'll take this gap, and Snappy could be caught out by this position. Very early for Carrigan to be whipping it out. I love this. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. I felt like he should have had that one. I was going to say, I love this in game leader duel, but Snappy gets the better of Carrigan here. Yeah, Broke's actually just dropped a smoke, hoping to worm his way back into the site. And does knock Snappy out. Yet to die is Brokey. Keeping that tally high, 8-0. And using that smoke now from Brokey to maneuver away. That's pretty nice, actually, from Hades to be able to get the bomb out. The A side's wide open. Yeah, and Rain's gone searching, so he's going to come in late top mid, but the bomb should go down here without any qualms. They'll need to get past D, huh? The easiest of retakes. The CT's currently lying. Twist Simming aware is walking through. This should be Deha. If they do come through, it's it's his round. It's There's too many questions. I, I don't think you'd want to rotate through here as a CT. You'd want to go through Ticket, and, and they will. So Deha is hearing these steps, but Hades with the ADP can post up on this position. Yeah, he should be good for it and just have to worry, worry about connect to Deha. Deha down. Hades again demanded to clutch and with a missed shot, Flash is still present. They can just hold this defuse and Rain is a problem for them. Three kills in this round. The last with very low HP, FaZe have come in all guns ablaze for Mirage. First gun in the bag. Well, that might have got out of control there, right? Because so, Deha was in such a power position. But the, the footsteps, as they ran through CT spawn, actually baited him away from even acknowledging Connector. So uh, great work from Snappy there to give them an entry and, and kind of help them into the round. They plant, they can buy again off the back of that. So not the end of the world, but a good opportunity there for Ants goes wanting. 
Insta window smoke thrown out. We've got some more scope rifles. The Org makes an appearance in Carrigan's palms. That could have been a difference maker in the duel against Snappy, right? The Org up close on that angle would have been a headshot. Rops has smoked on off. Brokey with some space here. Has to be careful. Has seen one slink on by and... Oh, oh the leg oh. shot. Yeah, Dio might be dead to the nade. He has backed up. Not the most fantastic of starts. Worming their way up. This is quick, though. It's just Carrigan here. Flash. About to get flashed off. Uh, that Carrigan. White. Hidden. He's in trouble. He's, He's in so much down. trouble. He'd love to take one with him, but already the site now open unless Rops can deny. Does equalize. Hades, ready. And already, bodies dropping elsewhere as well. Twist caught down on the rotate. Snappy's coming from jungle to find that frag. Rain has at least cut him down to size, but this is a 2v3 that heavily favors Ents. Oops, whiffed on the flash. Rain just needs one headshot to convince us. Doesn't find it on the initial engagement. Maintains vision and beheads Sphinx. God, he's sharp today, isn't he? Very scary, but Hades makes it good. Three from him in this round. Might just be the brokey save right now. If Rain stayed alive, would have given him a chance to work here, but... Unable to find the frag, and it is just the poles to lock down this 2 1 1. Be a big weapon to give over here from Brokey. Now, as the bomb is close to ticking away, maybe just going to take a couple with him on the way out the door. Hades gone, another rifle for the rebuy, and Dehi understands he can get away. He can get on out of dodge. He's going to backpedal, hold on to this AK. But there it is, Ents. They got the ball with this T side, and that B split came in quite quick. They noted where the AWP was. Rops was smoked off towards window the entire time. And as soon as they come up, you can see that Carrigan was screwed, just stuck towards that pillar. Hades with some fantastic impact here. Three massive kills. The rain frag the most important. And they will force the rebuys out of phase. We've gone straight into a double AWP setup. Rops donning the secondary. So Rops is for the first five rounds, been going for quite aggressive mid contests. He's been spraying the window smoke, swinging out of the connector smoke. The AWP will enable him to hopefully hold this information or push. Failed to jump, that gets scary. Now it gets very scary. D is already staring at it. There is a gap over the smoke for Twist to provide some support, not anymore. Madden's taking him down and D is gonna put Rops down in an early grave. Big frags, big problems for FaZe. One back from Rain. Running him down is Snappy. Good for it on the spray. And very early doors. We're looking at a hunt here. Yeah, Brokey's position noted now. How does he get a kill? Yeah, that's not an, that's an interesting... Oh, he's made himself. Holly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple of misses as far as the uh, util department goes early for Brokey. That one could have been... Funny. It's his first uh, death. Imagine if he, it's a suicide. There you go. Could avoid going down to any of the enemies. But uh, yeah, phase are broken here. Uh, and this is the missed jump, right? Leads to Rops being in no man's land. Twist is trying to pick up the slack there. And almost an awkward death for Brokey on the way out the door. But and just one with two quick ones. They force them down to the pistols. And they should make this a one round game. Now, yesterday, if you didn't catch the phase versus Fury matchup, phase were given a lot of room, right? Uh, an awful lot of room. There wasn't these heavy mid defaults early out of the Brazilians. They were actually quite late out of the gates. Actana Diha trying to make a lot of room here against the pistols. Has found a fight. Make it two. Rops will go down, and this is just about cleaning house now. Carrigan ate that, but Rain feeds Spink some lead. Yeah, Rain's a real threat here. If they're worried about going A, probably a, a good idea. You've got Snappy already on the B bomb site, pushed towards bench. Now he's going up towards kitchen. Snappy needs to be a little bit careful here. He doesn't give something back. And well, never mind. Man's taken down Rain, the most threatening with the Deagle. Already removed. Carrigan's here in the steps, but I think he's going to be way too late to the party. Kill from Snappy, just making sure this B bomb site is locked on down. Brokey and Carrigan, the last two to find, and I'm sure they'd love to get an AK and carry that one on the way out the door. Deha, they with the Mac 10, so not the best of weapons, but a chance for Brokey to farm something up. And hold up a second, Carrigan almost sneaking on through, gets the dink, does go down, and just the one man staying alive. What do we like? What is a succinct way to describe what Snappy did there? You know, when you're up against those lesser buys and you will just kind of send out, I call it like a scouting party or info play, but is there, you know, a lot of the teams are even doing this in gun rounds now, where you have these knee-jerk feely boys go out and just make sure no gambles have gone down with the man advantage. I think putting the feelers out is a good way, is yeah. a good way to describe it right there. Just basically just confirming that the commitment is the right one. 
Yeah, so uh, you, look, it can go horribly wrong. Especially We've if seen you, it. If you lose in a one-on-one -on -one duel and you give over a rifle, especially against an eco, and then he can rotate back over, it's all scrambled, right? But when it goes well, when you get the space, can work perfectly and save you a headache or two. There's a couple of headaches right now for FaZe. Now, they have been able to rebuy. The M4s are in play, but they only have one incendiary here, not a single defuse kit. So this is going to be done a bit more with bullets. Remember how they were getting across the line in Vertigo? Okay, round eight underway. Going to be getting boosted up into that ladder room for Twist. So a two-man superstar mid-hold for FaZe this time around. We've got Brokey responsible for A with Rain. It's going to be an A execute here. They're setting up for it. They're going to send Hades and Deha out ramp. Spinks through the palace position, and Hades already posted. This is problems. That smoke, did that enable a bit of a... If he can get onto Ticket, it can be a one way for him to work with here, Rain. He's just weddy. Weddy? Weddy and waiting. Oh, he can't find the way on up, so he's having some issues. The smoke is going to be subsiding soon. They've held them at bay here. You've got Madden in mid to catch those rotates off in that Phelps boost. Second wave of Util now. Burning. Burning is Brokey. Down to half. And we're off. Twist does deal with the mid lurk. That is going to enable all of FaZe to focus their attention. Bar Carrigan here on the A take. They have paused. Tetris is all they have. Nice boost here over the smoke. It's a good pick from Spinks, and you can see that the boost didn't quite catch him. They could be punished. Forces extinguish and holding this boost effectively. Big frag back. Deha one. Nice from Snappy as well. Connectors clear. Twists with a lot on his plate, unable to do so, and now just that B defender. Ends. They walk into a stacked A site and just duel him. Yeah, well, Carrigan's got one kill here. Needs to find two more. The shot onto Hades will not land. He's going to pick that up, and we're tied up 4-4. Four, four. So four consecutive rounds for FaZe. Now four consecutive for Ents. And these international teams locking horns here. I, I think with Rain's position, he was so committed. That boost, when it got flashed, is when Spinks came out. You can see here, right? He just came out and got that kill. And the boost over the top of the smoke was negated by a single flash there. So Rain was actually putting a lot of faith in his teammates to find that cheesy kill, but wasn't able to come on through. And then all the pieces just fall apart. Back down to the pistols are phase. Carrigan into a scout and yelling over the wall is Hades. Letting him know. And so here to play. Yeah, I'll let you know, Chad, and, and for everyone watching, that, that studio is real quiet when there aren't uh, the chants and the celebrations. You get just a little decibel raise for about 10 seconds, so you, you will hear it. But, of course, with the helicopter headsets on, that's about the only way and the only time you'll be hearing your opponent. This is rough now. They've lost that opening. Well, they've lost another opening here. So the scout's gone. So's Rops. Five destined for Ents right now is they're just going to go through the paces in this one. And this is beautiful stuff. Four consecutive rounds. Really good work for them to put themselves in this position. And they've even been, you know, like last round, Twist got the opening kill onto Madden in middle. They still make it work. You mentioned they go into the stack. In the previous three before that, openings were their friend. And in a round like this, they've even been able to pick up the first. So just making their life a little bit easier. In the previous map, the clutches oh, insane, were right. their friend. Hades with five. Okay, Ryan. Yeah, real potential for that to spiral. Sphinx going to have to play his life a bit here. They are into B, so you're right. Sphinx dropping back is going to keep them occupied for now. They've got the scout back, the AK picked up. Do they want to give this one a crack? It looks like it. Starting to put themselves in position here to fight. Or more so, Frag looking for something better than a scout, a deagle. Hades confirms they're retreating. Oh, and that was the AK he nearly knocked out. Brokey should have a chance with a glimmer of his head through on bench. And Spinks returns to A in order to try and cage these weapon saves. Oh, spotted out. And gone down. Another AK. So sharp. Yeah, Brokey needs to make it over there quick to pick that up. Twist here seeing if he can do any more damage on the exits. FaZe are playing the long game right now. Uh, they're definitely playing the long game, making sure they're managing their finances a little bit better, hurting enters where they can. Because right now, Ents haven't built a massive bag. You see right now with the win bonus coming on through, Deha and Snappy have probably secured themselves two more buys going forward. Hades has a bunch. Depends on how many AWPs he plans to buy. But this is good for Ents. They Incredibly exciting to see how far this Ents project has come. The individual stories of the players, huge. Breaking out into the scene ain't easy, and they've all done it in their own way. Snappy's trying to break into the A site, and he's actually a bit surprised by how little resistance he's found. He could be caught on the way back, doesn't fall foul to the Brokey Orp on ramp. 
It's funny to see him going again. He is just trying to exploit any inquisitive CTs. And there you go, information exchange. Brokey tries to fire off a shot or at least gets that information on the retreat. They are postured B though, Chad. Yeah, that speaks a lot, right? The fact that Brokey's ticket, they know that the orb is unlikely to be in middle. This is why Madden is taking a lot of space here. Ooh. And if he can get past Twist, he can't back turned. They should call off this B execute now. They know that Twist is close towards short. They know that Carrigan likely locking down the B bomb site here. And if they return towards A, remember, they know that the AWP was ticket. Some simple smokes, oh, they only have one, can make their life a whole lot easier here. It's these type of scenarios where you don't really know what the answer is. You're just going to have to watch it unfold. They are grouping back to A and hoping that Spinks will be able to find a gap. Brokey gets the info. Fortunately, it was still snappy. 25, though. Surely the rotate comes through. Oh, mid. Big pick from Spinks, but Brokey's orb good for snappy. Tagged, not fragged, and that's changed. Good shot out of Hades. Oh. A leg shot into Carrigan, but he's lost his teammates. And with 10 seconds left, asking a 1v3 from him again. It's just too much. Oh, and he misses the sitter. Runs down Rops. Time just to plant, but he will be run down. Twists can't stop him. And Carrigan can. 5-5, five, five, the scoreline as FaZe do catch a bit of a breath. Had a chance there, didn't he, Hades? The, the jewels came his way in those final throws, trying to get the bomb down, faking them, drawing them closer. So some good damage done. And a round that, uh, look, could have fallen apart quite quickly here, was actually highly contested. So Rops with a couple of nice shots on his AK, looking over the cusp of the smoke there onto Spinks. Remember, if you want to join the fan cams, URL at the bottom, esl.gg slash fan cam, join the fun. Jumped in and uh, had a conversation with him during an overpass, very friendly bunch. Oh, this is quick on top mid here. Hades has already posted up behind the mid box. Snappy could start to scale or just sit and wait. Util now dropping towards the connector position and Sphinx is looking for a kill up ramp. Has to deal with rain and twists here. But it's rain. He's in the form. He's in grand final rain form. His final form, if you will. Really good Util set there. Just get a little bit of contact. Immediate smoke, immediate molly. Flush them back. Look towards Palace where Dihar was trying to find a pick. That will force him back. Good play. Good play from Snappy. You can see this chess game unfolding as they spray through both and loading their mag. Snappy leaves with supremacy for a moment. Drops down, Rain oh, shut him down, and D has good for it. That was a trade and a half. It keeps them with the man advantage. They are committing to this site. Twists has vision for a moment as Deha has secured the round. Lovely work play from Entz. Yeah, Carrigan, the last to fall. They can have some real volatility to these T-side rounds. Four alive in this one and immediately put... You can see here, he's just... He knows Rain's position, just but he was fading away. Didn't want to stay in limbo for too long. Twist was trying to fight in front of the smoke here. Gets pinned on down and Dihai even gets the final frag there onto Carrigan to close it out. So back down to a battered by our phase. Enter looking great on this T-half. Again with a bit more pace towards middle. Madden and Hades this time round. Brokey chipped away as he tried to make his way up and over. But look at all this space from Madden here. No dramas on Cat. Good util to force Rob's back, and he isn't going anywhere. Madden, somehow alive. Look at this. With grace, he finds himself in the window. The light did get obscured. Brokey should know and will hunt. Madden, you should be dead. And he is now. Brokey secures it, finds the weapon upgrade. Still a 4v4, thanks to Dia's handiwork. Nobody's on A right now. Rops is tucked in connector still. Must be scared for his life. Surprised he was even able to get away with that whole situation. And during all of this, Ents have regathered and retooled back towards A. They've got enough utility to execute, but they could even just walk out contact here. So much chaos on the map as FaZe look for info towards mid, and they get naught. I'll tell you what they might find. Snappy. Oh, what a pick onto Brokey. Just a Mac 10 mid-range. And now he's got connector on lock. It makes it really awkward for the commitment of twists. He's going to have to go up and over. Snappy's never ready for this. And he is as he finds the head, finds the AK. Will they find the round? A site's theirs. Look at all the Uto right now to play this post plant. A couple of flashes, a molly as well. The bomb's going to get planted. The smoke just went down and Sphinx wins this fight. The round should be over. AK in the face of Carrigan and call this one done. Five to seven now as Rops just wants to save this M4. They're being toyed with here, FaZe. They're having a rough go of things. And if you look at the... Oh, hold up. So the barrel, I think. Snappy popping off on the ranch, though. Classic Snappy, isn't it? You know, he just rocks up with one of these big performances every now and again. Like, in the absence of MVP candidate Spinks, you've got Snappy. This was the map, I think, during the group stage in the second phase that, well, FaZe banned.
they didn't want to go to Mirage as mm. the third map. And well, that's why Ents have likely picked it in. Nice hold. We'll maintain his M4 and bring it through to our next round of play. Round 13. God, it's flying by. This yeah, half. it is quick, isn't it? Like, Rops can drop one here and they could probably cobble something together. But this is great from Snappy with the MAC-10. You see that watermelon explosion in the head right there of Brokey. This is the one I wanted to see because he really catches Twist just on the jump. Perfect timing, isn't Couldn't it? have been better. And it's a bit of a frustrating one for Twist. He has that every other day. They need a round to uh, start a fire here, Phase. They need some cracking shots to try and level this one back, but it's looking like they want to go straight into B. Carrigan, he's on his own right now, needs the cavalry and needs it now. Well, this is going to be a quick flash and go out of the window. Carrigan trying to divide with the smoke. It's good because Spinks is looking the wrong way and Rap Rops with the solo rifle is here to play as well. Pushing through his own smoke. That's perfect on the drop. Madden's punished. Everyone's and there you face. go. The fire is in the belly. But it's again Hades, Snappy, left to come up clutch. 2v5, 2 found. I need a no scope. Oh. Out Hades provides it. And now it gets awkward for FaZe. Up against the Orpa. He is far enough. Shots. Gap is being closed. He is surely run down. And there it is. FaZe will take a half bye. Oh, they knocked on Carrigan's door and he walks away with three kills in that round. You could see the response coming out from FaZe. Everybody there, quick as you like. The pace change. Trying to bully the in-game leader on the other side. It doesn't pay off. I can't believe Carrigan gets three kills in that whole situation. He was the first one dealing with the push and I thought he was going to get caught out faffing with his nades. And I'd give him credit to Rops as well. I think the reason that Carrigan lives so long is because Rops immediately showed that rifle presence on short, changed their priorities. Really good round for FaZe. That makes that real half out of this now. Seven to six. They got the sixth in the bag. Another new look here. It's just Madden to slink out top mid towards the tap position. They started with the A ramp boost on the AWP and Rain. This is very forward. Deha has been a bit of a menace when he's come out late through this apartment's position. So wants to put a leash on this early. And this might be a bit of a stalemate here. Deha can just stay locked in. Rain the same until they're forced into a different fight. A little heal, maybe? Now nah, the wall's completely obscuring that line, so when he goes a little bit closer as they both reposition out of this... I wouldn't be a good wall hacker, would I? It's all a learning curve. <laughs> Madden. He loves this, and he's... How is he so confident that there's no punishment coming? There's a, a 1v1 on B right now. Snappy walking into Carrigan's domain again. Not this time. No cigar for Snappy. But you can see what Snappy's doing, though. He's really just trying to isolate a fight, and Madden should have a fight isolated right here. Death from above. Barrel spotted. Rob's not long for this. Oh, oh then Madden gets it. 4v4. That was sketchy. Could get more so. Look at this position from Rain. If you're not flashing it, it has to be a pre-fight. It has to be a hard clear. Never mind. He'll bring the fight to you. Bomb, loose. bomb and Orp are gone. Brokey puts his Orp in the feed as well. And FaZe looking to tie it up. Spinks to come up clutch. He's got 30 seconds to work it out. And Twist has got a gap on that. A big, juicy gap. Spraying into it wildly. CT for the finishing flourish. And 7-7. Seven, seven, all tied up. It's time to find out who will win the half. We only find out in the final round of it. It's been very back and forth indeed. And now it's Ents who are really suffering the economic woes here. They're going to buy in with some Tech-9, some Deagles, make the most of this round. They tried the pace towards B. It didn't work against the lighter buy, but this time round might be something they want to rinse and repeat. See if they can catch phase off as they're doing one of these heavy... Always opens up with, hello, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's not just a bit of a B hit here. Feigning a bit more mid-control. Rops, hyper-aggressive position noted now. And they want to try and... Can you trap him? In on his position, they can push. They can try. Snappy might be able to catch him, but he's got Twist in support. Twist's not watching currently. Oh, he does check it. Nice oh. dink. They come and be again. Carrigan, different position. He's mixing it up every time. Drops a panic smoke. Is being chased down. We'll use that smoke, though, to provide some security. Confirmed it's a commitment. Brokey's there as well. Hard to find orb contributions, and he agrees. He's pushing with the Deeg. He just wants to finish this right here and now, and it costs him his life. D has gone and... Passed in a mid-window smoke, and Madden kicks this one off. Rops, well, maybe be rubbing his eyes for another minute and 40 seconds. Now he's oh, dead. He's going to watch. Uh, he's not prepared for this. There's so many, and he walks straight into their trap. Twist got him. Still two on the site here. Yeah, maybe Snappy can bait. Sphinx would have to hit some shots, though, and he's not doing that. Instead, we've got ourselves a wide-open opportunity just to see a phase pistol run down. That's the second as well. We oh. saw what Brokey did to them in the first pistol. 
That's two pistols to the good for our third map now. Kind of kicked off with the opener from Madden there. It shouldn't have gotten out of control over towards the B site. Sure, Diha goes down on the aggress, but there were so many bodies there, they just couldn't land the necessary shots here. Diha goes down, sure. It actually thrusts them into the stack on the site. Spink's not getting anything done. Madden's already rotated in. And that one really falls flat for Ents here. Let's see if they can bounce back on this force. Couple digs, couple scouts. So the perfect recipe with, with the tags and the finish. Yeah, I smokes. There's a tag. Oh, this is the perfect start to a buy like this. You couldn't ask for a better start. All five alive, no damage done, tagged up on rain. Now, to build off of that, you've even got HE on D her, so we'll just keep track of that. You might want to respond quite quickly here if you're phase and group up and execute before you get picked apart and you lose some of this util, right? At this juncture, you still have a couple of smokes to work with. Window smoke's just been thrown on out. Brokey and Twist still with smokes in their back pocket. So they could go for the up-down smokes on A, try and Molotov towards the ticket booth to keep that scouter at bay. Carrigan just making sure that it isn't too obvious that it will be an A play, but you can see them lining up the util on the other side of the map. So Carrigan is just simply selling this, and here we go. So Hades is there in Madden 2. He'd love a one bank. Could be the one-two punch as well. Flashes are good. Good. And the Deagle shots, two, three, all are right. Good shot out of Hades, but immediately meets Ropsy's Galil. And just like that, things will slow down into a bit of a lost hope of a second round conversion here. Yeah, just save this if you can, Deha, and Snappy is noted now. I think one of the biggest issues for Hades there was the fact that he headshot at rain. It was the guy that they tagged with the scout at the start of the round, so it could have been anybody else. Snappy's got one. Snappy's got two. Uh, the bomb... Still halfway tick, so yeah, they're going to hold Honestly, this one mate, back. But I'm not gonna, I think Rops would have been one shot if Deher had hit that scout shot. True. So if that all happened and Snappy did that, you, I reckon they'd have gone for it. These deagles with Snappy on the low buys, right? He has been lopping off a couple of heads. Snappy's sitting there on 15 frags. He is actually the highest for his team. Hades with 14. You've got 10 on Deha, 7 for Madden, and Sphinx on 5. Other side of the server, running away with things now. It's 10 rounds to the good for FaZe. It's 16 on Brokey, 15 for Rops, 13 for Rain, 11 for Carrigan, and Twists on 10. Now, this is the T side. We were catching the game yesterday against Furio. This is where FaZe mounted a bit of a comeback. Then uh, Art happened late in the piece to get Furio up to 15 first, and it had to be decided in OT. So, so FaZe are going to believe... <laughs> nice replay there. Perfect work from Max, locking in the head, and... Oh, here we go. Let's see if... Oh, they've actually bought, Alex. They've bought behind these saved guns. This is what? a crazy purchase from Ents. Snappy loves to try and break the meta, break the expectation, but this could be it. As soon as they see an armored Mac 10 Anything else, they will completely be aware of this investment. It's just a wild investment, isn't it? Like, there's going to be residual cash for Deha and Hades into the next round of play, I but yeah. It. I kind of hate it's, it. It's a heavy investment here, and, and this is potentially going to send them spiraling. So more saved guns as looking like Rops is ready to take ahead. Hades noted up through connector, they come nice and quick. What's Deha supposed to do? Nothing. What is it like? What can he contribute with an unarmored USP? Maybe a bit of information. Hey guys, yeah. uh, I'm low and they're past me. Can we please save? Yeah, we're going to do that instead. Uh, maybe that Mac 10, Deha, go be brave. Get yourself down an underpass when it's all calmed down a bit. Uh, Deha was the uh, Deha's the one guy, the in-game leader said bye, and he's gone, actually, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to... Hey, uh, uh, not this again. <laughs> he's doing it again. <laughs> they're starting to head back over here. Hades in window, Deha pushing up through connectors. Snappy, wh where do you keep finding these kills? He just pulls down doubles out of his bottom. It shouldn't be more. D has managed to grab himself a Galil. That's better than the Mac-10 we, we thought. Oh, hang on. And that AK might even get blown mm, their way as well. That does look juicy. Sniff that one out. Another what frag. Look at all the damage on? happening here. Well, I mean, I don't hate it. I've changed my mind. Sphinx um, might even get the Galil, Alex. They're taking everybody. I'll let the expert with the abacus break down how this kind of screws phase. Yeah, I, I guess as, as far as the finances go, they're going to have to fully reinvest here. Broken there's 3.8. He's going to need to get a dropped gun from Twist. And if phase lose this round right now, it means in the next, it's likely to be on pistols or a really ugly looking force buy. So, so much damage done here by Snappy. And the first is great, but yeah, come on. The second is ridiculous onto rain through the smoke. Some lovely shooting. And Snappy, you can see he's really just playing for the economy there, going forward, doing some more damage. And yeah, they, they do get a buyout. And and yeah, it looks bloody magnificent. So Ents, they're out on top of this one here, going into the next round of play. Yeah, they are playing 3D noughts and crosses. Oh, double nades. Deha, so lucky to be alive. Yeah, he'll get away. Hades should have a, chan a chance. It's going to go awry. Reigns across to his safety of the boxes. 
Twist finds himself already into mid. So with their powers combined, mid control is theirs. You can see that deep CT smoke often will force them to acknowledge and pause for the time it's up, about a 20 second buffer. I wonder if they get a bit gambler here. You can see Deerheart already over towards the checkers position on B right now, and Hades is playing outside the window, so they've all gone so much space, and that smoke, it kind of sells it that it's feeling more and more like a B. But it's up through connector towards A. It is going to be all on Madden here from this ticket position, but you need to know how much utility Enter's held on to. I think they're willing to play retake right here, right now. So they're letting them in. Look at FaZe. They've got one flash. And Madden's got himself the first frag and managed to get away. This is squeaky bum time now. You need to see some hero plays out of rain. That one flash we talked about might be Rops to CT. This is his opportunity. Bang. And the AWP is gone. Madden holds his nerve. Did make a sound cue. He was betrayed with the bait. Oh, the bait and switch. Brokey's caught D here elsewhere. You're playing with fire, Madden. Run down now. And all of that advantage now just sucked away as Carrigan gets the flank on Snappy. You can't play retake when you're trying to deal with one man. Rain on CT keeps three players busy. They got so much out of that one flash. That one flash that came on through from Rops there is what enabled them to take that fight. Otherwise, they were going to be locked on down. The HP events might not have been an issue, but here, they're going to get up to their 12th round of play here, FaZe, and it felt like FaZe did a lot with very little there. Carrigan's on the hunt. He's trying to see if he can find out Sphinx's position, and Sphinx is still having a rough go of things. Only five kills to his name so far. The team needs him, and they need him now. We're also seeing more and more of these sound baits. Like, that was so uh, transparently jump to pull the crosshair of rain as you swing CT with your low HP. We saw it with the triple boost fake as well. That was interesting earlier on in the tournament. But 12 in the bag for FaZe. Robin keeping the troops smiling. They should be pretty happy about things here in the best of five. Window smoke landing. And now you need to change the tune. So Hades going to take this round into his own hands here. I do always love me some aggressive orping. Oh, an immediate, instantaneous trade. The route rain takes. Gangster, Carrigan, he's on his way to A. Look at him striding in, demanding respect, and gets it. Sphinx is another nasty death, and Rob's not going to slip up on Madden. Bomb needs to be picked up right now from Brokey. Deha and Snappy are already responding to this. They have a bit of a buffer period right now, and they're aware of a potential mid-lurk. Smokes exchange, and Deha almost taking down Rob's there. That could have been a difference maker, but the round now is done. Snappy saving. Call that 13 for FaZe. It's a CT lockup. Yeah, we haven't seen a single CT round out event since that 8 7 half. We've had some real close attempts. Bomb has been planted. Snappy's going all the way around towards T spawn here. So, this is the instantaneous trade you were talking about. So, beautiful stuff there from Rain. Carrigan taking some liberties. They know that the AWP was aggressive, likely an aggressive mid maneuver. So, they're taking space on towards A. Snappy's actually. Well, he's been playing for exit, so maybe he's playing for a couple more. The bomb, halfway gone. Who needs a golden gun when you've got a ghost gun? Brokey's coming. I, I don't know if Brokey's aware for this. Look how Cavalier is around the corner. Leg now, position noted, nade. Looks good. Ahead of it just. Brokey feeling the heat here. Throws one back of his own, but Carrigan. The snake in the grass, bullets in the back, and they're going to lose it all. So Snappy tried to make something with the far. No, certainly not. It does seem rather flat out events here in the second half. Everything Phaser trying has been, whether it's through individual brilliance or coordinated team effort, been working. A four-man mid-take. And the space Carrigan got on A clearly bugging them. They've immediately set up with an aggressive ramp hold. Snappy's aggressive over towards B apartments as well, so... If they're able to get a kill on one of these extremities, get a rifle in their hands here, but that's a big if. Going through the paces right now, Twist needs to be worried about a double pick from mid. Deha and Spinks both able to turn their attention in that direction, but he has made it in towards connector. And this is the fight. Carrigan heard. Snappy has the advantage here, I think. Jumping around the corner, will be able to get this AK now. The bomb's down top mid still, so could be some issues here. Yes, yeah, certainly. That's the AK. And that's the ball bag. Brokey does not let Deha get away with that low HP and Twiz stampedes into the site. Poor Hades. Really rocking a hard place type scenario. Rain with the last bullet does knock things down and long range snappy. Not long for this world either. 14-4 phase. And again, it's like flustered at times.
but never enough for the full flourish. Yeah, a bit of a moment of worry there. Uh, and they're able to get this one calm and collected because this is one of the nightmare scenarios, right? Carrigan going down without a response. He's lucky that the team was able to come on through and mop it up with that space that Twist had over towards Connector. So this is the last real chance for Ents here within this map. <laughs> Six and zero on this uh, attacking half. Again with this aggression. Can it work out the second time around? Diha, somehow not flash, just safe. Well, it doesn't take much to, for a snowball to become an avalanche, but we have to see that snowball, round 22, running out of chances for ends here. Late mid control being fired for here. You can see that window smoke thrown out. Sphinx is... Still got that incendiary in hand, wants to throw it top mid. The flashes would be the go sign for that, and, and there it is. We're gonna run boost out mid, so being extremely diligent here as far as the mid control goes, and Rain can quickly burrow on down and gravitate towards this connector smoke. Keep it a simple here. Yeah, an A split, twists and rops out of palace. Carrigan gonna join the party, and another smoke towards connector is pushing Rain towards window, they've heard that. Yeah, suspicious, given Should be window dead. molly. Oh, I thought Didn't, Madden was going to creep on that. I think he would. He thinks better of it. Doesn't want to be the first death. I mean, you can understand why you're a bit cagey at this point in the game. Yeah, he's also a little bit worried about a beast split here. Oh. That's a dry peek from Rops. Just dry into Hades. Rain will fall. Pressure now onto this commitment. Rops and Twist, though, are hitting every head. Another headshot from Rops into the site. Spinks, he has been quiet. This is his chance. Good damage. Finds the body of Carrigan. Nade is perfect for Rops. He's a dead man. And now just snappy, quick response from Twists and Brokey. 1v2 for the leader to avoid a lot of map points. He might get the chance. Oh, it's not an easy duel, and it's the Orper as well. He suspects it. He's right to think it. But he can't get across this line drawn by the Orp. And Brokey does get tagged. Still Twists refuses to peek. And that's Brokey finding his voice, feeling very good about that one. Had a couple of opportunities for that shot, Brokey, didn't he? Was able to take the same fire over and over again, snappy understanding just how important it was to get this round on the ball. But the dry peak from Rops is insane. If you're Hades, you're really just feeling a little bit hard done by there because you have to worry about Ramp and Palace. The fact that it's dry is absolutely mental. That's the Brokey onto the snappy kill right there. And you can hear him getting fired up one round away from picking up map number three in this series. And then it'll just be one more for FaZe to seal the deal in the best of five. Add an aggressive. Oh, there's a change. An opening kill from Hades immediately puts his name in the feed and Madden's done the same. A sudden change, a buck of the trend. And they're walking into B. You're going through. Straight through. Good nade. Slows him down. Snappy can't afford to not get anything done. Sphinx is there in support. And it could be a full shutdown. Brokey opts for the rifle to try and at least make this costly. It's locked in. Hades already pushed top mid. Madden's coming through the underpass here. No way out. Brokey is going to have to fight if he wants to walk away with anything. Dealt with. Brokey will go down, trying to find that AWP as snappy. He will grab that. Likely to throw that over towards Hades here, get it back in his hands, and that immediate exchange is happening. Now, there's enough money for another phase by. But this was a bit more aim mappy, right? Those two fights, they came very easily. They, with the first fight over towards ramp, I, I guess Rops was just taking a duel and then top mid Madden got offered a duel as well. So if you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with ends like that and it's just heads up fights, they'll take you every day of the week. Score not reflecting that right now, but they have broken the streak. And that is the first round right now for the CT side of Ents. Need a bucket load more if they want to take this one to OT. This time Faye's taking their time a little bit. Not going to give away an opening fight here, there, or anywhere. Perch passively in top mid. Carrigan smoking window now. A bit more of this delayed mid take, just avoiding the CT utility. And Hades is post up here in connector. Good flashes. Just simple stuff, yeah. isn't it? Locked out. Not going to get that opening kill luxury that Hades did. Double smoke. Vi Diha is going to get sprayed on down. Rain tracking him in the X ray, but Diha. He does better, gets the kill, lives on, maintains connector control, twists through the underpass, could be a threat, and oh my god, he's done it again! Carrigan caught out now. Wants to stick and fight now, DR. He's actually starting to hit a couple of shots, so this is the bomb loose. Another big man advantage for Ents to close out on, and well, over there for FaZe, the cash is going to be strapped. They're not going to be able to purchase into the next, so the rebuy 
Won't be for an extra round. That means the Ents are likely to get up to double digits here. Maybe this comeback is possible. If you're phasing, you know next round's going to be an eco. Probably want to save what you have, right? As much as you think these individuals are good enough to go and take the fight, they get a second crack of things with all five players on the board in the next round to play. The bomb also isn't lost in middle completely. Maroons here. And this is it from d -Hi. It looks awkward there. We're so flustered, the CTs, they dropped a double smoke towards Connector, right? You could tell that means they're under pressure. The comms aren't as smooth as you'd like, but d -Hi mops up any of that madness and are able to get this ninth round on the board here. So Ents starting to feel it, starting to pull it together, but is it too little too late? It's <laughs> The amount of rounds they need consecutively here is, is absurd. Yeah, and it's also phased the fact that they've guaranteed that this will still be threatening, and, and they also have the luxury of knowing Ents aren't in a position to hunt. You know you get another bite of the cherry. It's not going to be another awkward kind of uh, freebie for Ents. This is going to be a hard-earned round again if they can post it. Admittedly, though, I mean, for Snappy, one of the reminders he needs to be dropping is they have zero nades, like very light on. Carrigan does invest and gets himself some, so you can see that it's going to be not too bad, actually. Limited in smokes, I count two. Plenty of flashbangs. Where do you go with this? Yeah, Twist dropped a Galil there, so they're able to make this one seem somewhat threatening here. But out top middle, getting peppered through the smoke. Rain's having a rough go of things already. Oh, where's his health gone and his head? Madden with an opening kill. Twist, though, can change games, can change rounds on his own. Spraying through, it's Deha playing around the smoke. Hades good for the first. Wow. Quick headshot out of Twist, but that's all. That is all. Bomb lost. simmering out, isn't it? That was uh, just a standard play through middle. They couldn't get anything done, and now the fights are coming the way of Ents here. They're more than happy to take him. Rops's position is still noted. Carrigan's found something during all of this. Now, this would be a two-on-four to win the game for FaZe. They know that Carrigan was under window, so they could take a couple liberties if they want. Rops has started to dart on back now. Ramp is smoked off. Bomb is still stuck on the side. This time round, if you are phased, you want to go for it. You want to give it a crack. You want to try and level out everybody's loss bonus here. Snappy coming up onto the balcony. Carrigan coming back through Don't middle here. Yeah, Snappy. What? He wants answers. He's so hungry for them. And never mind, he's problem solved. Deals with Rops. The Padwan gone. Just the master remains in the 1v3, and he's walking straight into space. Oh, no. Completely barreled, betrayed. And an M4 for the play. Carrigan looking for trouble. Oh! He hits the shot, and now Snappy up against Carrigan for the map. Good damage through the boards. Bomb to be planted on A. That's the only option. Retrieves it and will plant safe. Snappy walking out, trying to exploit it. Second-guessing himself now. Carrigan to clutch up to close, and he... Oh! 